Hey fancy friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be doing a first impressions on this baby right here. This is the new LA Girl Pro Matte HD. This is the new LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation Long Wear Matte. This is the new LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. Say that a hundred times. This foundation came out, I think, just not that long ago, probably within the last month. And it hasn't hit stores or anything near me. I don't have a CVS here in Idaho. So I had to order this online on Ulta.com. It was, I want to say under $10, but I don't know the exact price off the top of my head, so I'll make sure to ins insert that price for you guys. I was really excited to try it out, so this is the look that you guys will see in the video. I did try to use a lot of the LA Girl products as well in the video. It isn't a full face necessarily because I don't, didn't have stuff for like brows and highlight and things like that, but for the most part, everything in the video is LA Girl. I wanted to kind of just do like a full face as much as I could using the products to show you guys the foundation and every other product that I already own. I do really like the brand. It's really affordable and I love that you can get it at Ulta and you can also buy it on their website as well. I know Ulta only carries a few things. They don't carry the whole line. So if you want to see what they have in, you know, the whole line of all their makeup, then you might want to go to the LA Girl website. I feel like their shipping though is kind of expensive. So that's why I went and did it on Ulta. I am going to do a check-in as well and let you guys know what I think as the foundation wears on. So you will see that at the end of the video. But for the most part, we are just doing a first impressions, testing this baby out. So if you guys want to see my thoughts, then just make sure to keep on oh, watching. Oh, the transformation. Am I right? Let's go and get started so we can get some makeup on this face because don't mind this right here it's that fun time of the week so we got breakouts going on but as you can see I already have my brows done because that takes forever like I said in the intro I am super excited we're trying out the LA girl pro matte high definition long wear matte foundation <sighs> that was a long one it is a really nice packaging actually it is a glass bottle and I'm it does come with one fluid ounce like most foundations do and it has a pump. I'm so excited that it has a pump. I love when foundations actually have a pump and it comes with because I hate touching foundation. It's just really gross. Now I kind of swatched this already. I got the color sand. The thing about foundations online is it's really hard to try to figure out what your correct shade is. So when it, I got it in the mail, it looks a little light, but I'm hoping that it goes on a little bit darker on the skin, so we'll just have to see what works. I already put moisturizer on and sprayed my face with a little bit of the Mario Badescu spray. When I usually test out a new foundation, I don't really do like the one side brush, one side, or one side brush, one side sponge, but I thought today it'd be actually kind of fun to do that. So on one side of my face, we're gonna try the brush. This is just an e.l.f. complexion brush. And on the other side, I'm going to try a uh, beauty blender. This is the one that I showed you guys in my recent haul um, from the brand Mascara. I really am enjoying this beauty blender, so we're just going to do it on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation on my face. I'm going to do my eyes, but I just figured I would do the foundation first because I mostly want to see what the foundation is all about. But I'm just going to slap some on my face. It does look a little dark. I probably could have gone with a lighter shade, but, you know, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and just start blending this in. And this is definitely too dark for my skin. Dang it. That's the sucky thing about trying to buy foundations online. As I've noticed that their colors are actually really dark. I probably could have gone with like a beige color. I might have to return it and get a different color online, which really sucks because I wish that they sold LA Girl in the Ulta... By the way, I did order this off the Ulta site. I wish they sold it in store so we could see the foundation colors. This is definitely too warm, so I'm going to have to dry, like really drag it down. The coverage is nice. It feels a little bit thicker. I'm really bummed that this color is too dark. On camera, of course, it's going to look like it matches pretty well, but in person, it looks dark. It is blending out really easily, as you guys can see right there. It already has dried down, so it doesn't really feel like it doesn't even give you a sticky feeling or tacky at all. It has really dry, uh, dried down and feels pretty good on the skin. So that's the one side, and then that's without it. I'm so broken out right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and see how it does with the sponge. So I'm just going to add some all over again. 
cover up my nasty zits. It's weird because sometimes foundations wear differently with how you apply them. And I actually, right off the bat, I feel like I'm getting more coverage with the beauty sponge than I did with the brush. Like a lot more. Make sure when you're trying out um, foundations, you know, you do try it out with a couple different things before you really judge because, like, I felt like the coverage wasn't that much on this side, but holy crap, that gave me a lot more coverage with the beauty sponge. But this one, I would suggest you guys trying it if you have a sponge to actually try it with a sponge because that really covered a lot and I feel like even in this area on this side, I still have where some stuff is peeking through. But on this side, I feel like it really covered it nicely. So the true test will be as you wear it throughout the day to see how it is. But applying, it actually looks really nice on the skin. It doesn't look weird around my nose or anything. I'll come in closer so you guys can take a better look. That's where I had those zits, and it covered it up pretty nicely. On the forehead, it looks good. So, all in all, I'm pretty impressed so far. I just wish that I got a little bit of a lighter color. Let's see what it looks like outside in natural light because if it looks like super orange, I'm going to have to take it back. But on camera, it looks like it matches really well. It's just super deceiving because I have these lights and stuff. But in person, it, it is coming off a little bit darker than, you know, my neck and stuff. But, you know, hey, whatever. We'll, we'll just keep it going. Um, our LA Girl Pro Concealer. This color, again, it was really hard for me to get. I've already, I've, I did a LA Girl haul like a long time ago. And I got a bunch of stuff. But again, it's really hard to figure out your color shade because... They don't sell anything in stores where I live in Idaho. We don't have CVS, so it's really freaking hard to figure out what color you are online. So I got this color. This is in the color medium beige, and it's just, it's too dark, but we'll just try to make it work. I haven't used it really in a long time. We're just going to see what happens. I think because it's so dark, I might lighten it up with a little bit of my ColourPop concealer. And we're just going to go ahead and blend that out. So we are just blending that out. Okay, and then I went ahead and set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier powder, and I'm going to set, I don't know if I want to set the rest of my face, because I do kind of want to see what the foundation wears like. Alright, so now we have the foundation on and powdered up and stuff, so now we're just going to move on to eyes. I'm not going to do a whole lot of fancy stuff, because like I said, I mostly want to focus on the foundation itself. I think I'm just going to slap some stuff on my eyelids. I do have these two quads that I've used before in a tutorial and it's the Idolize and Harmonize eyeshadow palettes. I might just use a mixture of both of them. Again, are the two colors that I have. Before I put these shadows on, this is a new product by um, LA Girl that I've never tried. This is the Pro Primer, Primer High Definition Eyeshadow Primer Stick. And I hauled this and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I was saving it for the video, so I do want to try this out. And... See how well it holds my shadow. So I'm just drawing it on like a crayon and then just blending it out with my finger. I was actually really excited to try this. I've seen really good reviews and I do have oily eyelids. I'm going to see how well this works. Really easy to put on. I kind of want to take this lighter shade up here and from the idolize and set my eyelid with this just set that all over my lid and I think for the crease I'm going to use this color over here in the harmonize
Every time I say I don't want to go dramatic, it ends up turning out dramatic. It's the story of my life. Okay, and I'm just going in with a brush that doesn't really have any product on it, and I'm just kind of blending that out a little bit. I think I'm going to go in with this darker chocolate brown on the bottom. With Morphe four, uh, M433. And just take this on the outer part of my eye. I'm trying to use some colors out of this one too, but I really fill in this this one so much as the other one. But let me see. I just end up using this one more. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this gold color right here on top and put that all over my lid. I think I'm just going to put that gold color towards, or this champagne color towards the front and more of that rose color in the middle part of the eye. What we're working with, taking a more fluffier one and just blending out the top part so it's not so harsh. might take a little bit of the darker black color in this one in idolize and just put a little bit on the outer part okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some liner and lashes and then we'll be back to finish up the face and then I will give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation so all right, that freaking took me forever. This is why I don't do my lashes and my liner on camera because I've been struggling sitting here for probably the last 15 minutes trying to get this wing eyeliner looking semi-decent and then I had to throw on some fake lashes to kind of cover up my mistakes. But you know, we're just going to go ahead and move on and not talk about it. Back to the face, the foundation is still wearing really nicely, but it, I mean, it hasn't been on for that long. So we are going to move on to bronzing up. I'm just going to use the LA Girl Pro Contour Powder, the Highlight, and Banana Powder. Now, I already set underneath my eyes, so I'm probably just going to maybe use a tiny bit of that banana powder just to brighten up the under eye area. And as you can see... As you can see, I do really like this banana shade. It does work really, really well. So I usually take this traveling with me because I don't have to take, you know, a big bronzer and banana shade. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin using this bottom color right here. So I'm just gonna use a tiny, tiny bit, really tapping off the excess and just semi-contouring, not really, just kind of slapping some bronzer on there. And then bringing it down to really warm up the neck area. For blush, I am going to take some of the LA Girl Just Blushing uh, Just Bare Blush. This is like a mauve color and just slap some on my cheeks. I have like three of these blushes and I love them. They're so, so pigmented and so nice and they're super affordable. I'm going to take a, a stippling brush and just kind of blend that all together. And then I don't have a highlight, unfortunately, so I am going to just use the highlight that I have in my collection right now. I'm going to use my Milani Rose Romantica because I have it sitting right here. Put a little something on the cheek area. Then I do have some liner from LA Girl, the gel liner coal, the gel coal liner. It's just the slide on glide on. And I'm just going to put some on the top and then down on the bottom. This stuff is really easy to put on and it's super black. So then I am going to just slap on some of this um, lip pencil by LA Girl. 
everything, of course, that I'm showing you guys, LA Girl. This is in the color, this is in the color Nude. I don't really know what the name of it is. But I'm just going to use this to line my lips. On the tip, it shows that it's a lot darker than what actually comes on, so I kind of wish that it was a little bit darker, but, you know, whatever. And then I'm going to use the color, their um, Matte Flat Velvet Lipsticks, and this is in the color Snuggle. And then, because it's matte, I'm going to put a little bit of this Revlon Gloss on top of it. Okay guys, so this is the final look that I came up with using mostly all the products that I could use for LA Girl that I already own. This foundation so far is actually looking really good on my skin, so I'm really impressed so far, but the true test will come as the day progresses to see how well it holds on to my oils and things like that because I do have oily skin, so anything with matte in it, I, you know, tend to go for, but sometimes it doesn't always hold up to what it says, you know, on the bottle. So I'm really hoping that it turns out that this is a really good foundation throughout the day because this will quickly become my new favorite. Um, the current time is 1.08, so I'm going to wear this for a few hours and then check in a little bit later. Make sure to stay tuned for that, and I think we'll just go ahead and end it here. So I will see you guys in the next couple hours, okay? See ya! This is what the foundation looks like in natural light and actually the color matches me like I did take it down my neck but it does actually match pretty well probably could have gone like a tiny bit lighter but for the most part it actually doesn't look bad so I'm trying to stand as close as I can to a window so you guys can see it but this is already been on for three hours so, so far, it's not looking bad. So I'm going to keep it on for another couple hours, but I am going to have to wash it off eventually and get ready for tonight. So I am going to wear it again tonight to see how well it holds up with shirts and see, see how well it holds up in a club scene. So um, I am going to probably wear it again tonight as well, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. They're not bad. So I'll see you guys again in a few hours. Welcome back to the final check-in. As you can see, I am kind of shiny. It's been about six hours, give or take. It's about six o'clock right now. I want to say when I actually put the foundation on, I had it on about 1230-ish, so it's been like almost six hours or so. But as you can see, I haven't touched anything up at all. I haven't touched my face, anything. I did remove my lashes and I have a, you know, cozy sweater on. My hair is up, so please just don't mind that. But as you can see, um, the lights, you know, they really shine on the shiny areas of my face. So my face is a little shiny, it looks like, but actually for six hours, it's not that bad. Usually I'm pretty oily with some foundations after even the five hour mark. So for six hours, I think it held up pretty well. Close up, I, I don't see any spots where it actually, usually I have my foundation will cake and kind of settle into these fine lines right here, my little smile lines. And actually I'm really shocked because it has not settled at all and it hasn't really broken up anywhere. It's just mostly shiny on my face which to me is pretty normal with any foundation that I use. I have yet to find a foundation that actually does not get shiny in my T-zone. So with the lights coming in, you can really see that it's like, I'm like glistening a little bit. And it, the coverage is still pretty good over here as well. And on this side, usually sometimes I have foundations that already wipe off um, on this side throughout the day. But I didn't really have my hands sitting up here or anything like that. So maybe that's why it held up a little bit better. But I'm just going to go take my sponge and kind of just blot the areas first, like where I'm a little bit oily. And just kind of seeing, as you can see, that actually already looks a little bit better. So I'm going to come in a little bit closer so you guys can see the foundation. So all in all, I don't think it's really that bad for six hours. I'm pretty shocked. I'm going to go ahead and powder a little bit too using this e.l.f. blotting powder. 
And usually what I would do was is like use an actual blotting sheet, but I don't have any sitting right here, so you get what you get, okay? And just gonna kind of see what the foundation looks like with just adding a little bit more powder on the face. I actually made it a huge huge difference it's not nearly as shiny as it was a minute ago and it's holding up really nicely I'm really surprised in this foundation I I'm hoping that I continue to like it because it actually looks pretty nice regardless I have foundations at high-end and drugstore and I always have to touch up around the five like six hour mark and usually 100% by the eight hour mark I'm like a a grease slick so for me I mean it's just I'm just oily and that's what you get but I feel like this foundation actually held up really well for it being on my face for six I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here do I think that the LA girl pro matte foundation is a good one you know yeah it's it's really affordable you if you live in certain areas you can get it at the drugstore I'm assuming I don't know 100% if this one in particular is in the store yet but I know you can get it online on Ulta and on the LA Girls site. Um, it's really nice packaging. I, and you know, it comes with the pump. I think, you know, try it out for $8.99. I don't think that that's a bad deal at all. And it's drugstore. So, you know, if you don't love it, it's under 10 bucks. So, you know, why not just go ahead and try it anyways? You can always return it if you don't like it. So I would suggest you guys trying this out. I hope that helped you guys out a little bit giving you some more information on the LA Girl Foundation. I love doing videos like this. I love trying new makeup. It's my favorite in the world. So I thank you so much for watching. Please be sure if you like the video to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much. And comment down below if you guys think you're gonna try it or not, or if LA Girl, if you've tried any other products, I'm just curious to see um, if anyone else has tried the foundation themselves and what they thought about it. I would love to hear. Yeah guys, until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.